Hello and welcome to the first episode of Beat the Backlog, the series in which I'm going to try to go through every game in my Steam lab library, library and play it for one hour straight through uh, and then upload that to the channel. The point of this is that, you know, I've got loads of games in my Steam library, which I'm probably never going to touch if it wasn't for doing something like this with them. Um, so yeah, the first game on the list that we are playing is Alan Wake. Uh, I think I did a play this originally on the Xbox, I guess 360 it must have been. Maybe Xbox One, I can't remember when it came out. But uh, yeah, this is the first game that we're going to be doing with this. So I'm going to set my timer for one hour. Let's put up on my phone. So one hour starts now. So let's click new game. And just so we can get through as much of this game in an hour as possible, let's start Stephen on King easy. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've got to say, I'm not a huge fan of horror games. I can't remember if this this is more action scary from what I remember. I know I'm going through the games. I've but... always had a vivid imagination, so but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late. Desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. Cool. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. This is a nightmare, he said. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Oh, he's gone. Spoopy. Spoopy McSpoopy pants. What the hell? Suddenly, his body was gone. Spoopy McSpoopy pants. Am I an idiot? Maybe. Maybe I, I am an idiot. shock from the crash. They would play him. Oh, that's sick. As I was trying to say, I'm not very good with horror games. I'm playing through my backlog in alphabetical um, order. And I, I'm i not looking forward to getting to Amnesia. Because I have played it in the past. Um, but yeah, I'm not looking forward to playing that. Hold on. Alan Wake. Right, let's... Uh, Let's not dick around too much. This controls horribly with a mouse and keyboard. Like, why is... I had to go to the lighthouse. I, I want the camera over that side of him. Waiting for me there. Get to the lighthouse. Okay. Rain Cove Lighthouse that way. Let's see what this sparkling thing is. The bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. Collectible Thermos 100. Where? Oh, right. Well, <laughs> good start. Uh, yeah, where's he going to be? I had to go to the lighthouse. Yeah, we get it. I knew there was something Covering, uh, Where's he going to be hiding 100 thermoses? Well, obviously that didn't count because I'd already collected it. But why respawn it in the first place? Oh shit! He's back. Oh! You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? 
You think you're God? You think you can just make up stuff? Play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama? No, thank you. You're in this story now, and I'll make oh, I want to scan that QR code, code, but I also don't want to die again. You missed your deadline! Shift, oh my, shift and the arrows. Oh, alright. That made it look like you shift and the arrow keys. You can do west, you can do west. Right again, dodge the attack. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been reading. Honestly, this camera's awful. Oh. Oh, is right, shoulder. to die by the hands of your own creation. I'm looking forward, he's running to the left, like diagonally. He's course correcting. This is really fucking loud. Mr. Wink, it's me! I'm Stuart, remember? Quickly, get inside! There's no time to- Ooh, that is loud. I have a feeling it should be okay in the recording, but let's protect my ears. Inside now. Oh no. Stop. No. Damn it, die. No, no. no! Well, that ain't good. Of that. something here. Follow the light. Right, that was weird. Follow the light. You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Well done. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, it's darker really bright. ocean green where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Turn your 
flashlight towards him and burn the darkness away. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Thank you, godly voice, I guess. Now you'll die. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Okay, so you can boost the light. You made me this way. Hopefully, okay. <laughs> Honestly, this camera, I know I, I shouldn't keep going on about it, but this camera is uh, really naff. Use number one to switch weapon. Copy pasted uh, enemies are a bit off the time, aren't they? Although oh, she'll get that now. We usually put helmets on, so they could be different guys. Yeah, let's get to the blue line. Stamina meter that I just can't see. I'll stop. I'll stop sprinting after a while. Ooh, a nice thermos. Drink this tea or coffee. Ah, coffee thermos, it says. Lighthouse. Oh, my nose is very itchy. <laughs> I like the soundtrack, the music is very good. I wonder, because it's a Remedy game, if there'll be any poets with the ball in it. Uh, usually in Remedy games, I think. Shh, baby, just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. 
handsome. He's well dopey eyed. My glasses keep slipping down. It looks so nerdy to be like, <laughs> put my glasses back up. I think it's the headset. Pushing, oh, hello. Pushing them off. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Alright, the old guy should have posed with him. Do you want to be in the picture Hi. too? Hmm. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying. I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice I do mind you saying. Yeah. I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. That's Any a good ball chance spot. I can get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you do. Oh, Alan Wake's a bit of an arse, isn't he? But then, so is that guy. Maybe I'm in the right, but, you know, he was just trying to be nice. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. What's we this camera got... angle? No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Have they gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you can call me if there's a problem, okay? Hey, just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Wow. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Eve the ferry, yes please. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. I'm a shame these aren't Stucky. real time because it's very us. blurry. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Sync by Microsoft. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. Yeah, I don't like Alan Wake. Not, not the game, the character. There are still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan Wake. Oh, God. I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose. I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey. Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. This is what it's I like to be famous. I got the cut from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Oh, my thermos. Nope. Okay. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer Do me human. a favor, Sonny! I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. Mm -hmm. I do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. 
Yeah. Are you what? serious? She's going on. Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself Number six. a rocker. Unbelievable. Ha! It does that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. This He's is loving it. that. I've died and gone to hell. You are welcome. This creep doing waiting to come out of the toilet. Hello. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find stuff. You don't want to die, do you? Get out as soon Worse. as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. He Over didn't listen. Was always dead. Wait. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Mr. Stucky stuck in the toilet. Oh, Carl hello. Couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. Please don't. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. A strange lady. Hmm. She doesn't look as sinister there as she did in the Cauldron sort of, Lake oh, is a hello. special place. Uh, the Very inspiring. Little cinematic, but You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station at Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you alright? <laughs> Splendid! The Andersons, they're, uh, local Going musicians. Everywhere. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They Don't care. See you later. Bye. Bye, Mr. Wake. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. But they'll come in handy, I'm sure. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! <laughs> that diner was a real nut house. That was really <laughs> weird. How long do we have Can left on the timer? Case? This would make 37 minutes. For a 8 minutes, really, technically. To be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBF Heaven. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. I wouldn't say two years is a long time ago. It's gonna be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. It gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. Wow. My It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Thank you, Mr. Exposition. Well, she's obviously not that scared if she's sauntering over. Bird leg cap. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Come on. It's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Sure thing. I'm on it. Oh, don't want to waste my batteries. 
Oh, it does recharge. Hello? Anyone here? A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. <laughs> Some of this voice acting is a bit odd. Where would the light switch be? Or is there a generator up back? The beer fest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. Famous artist, no less. But we'll see if we can rope them into an interview later on. Now let's uh, go to the phones. Caller, you're on PBF FM. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Why, hello, Rose. What's on your mind? I know who that famous artist was. It was Alan Wake, wasn't it? Uh... He's my favorite writer. Well, Rose, I. I just saw him at the diner. The power cable goes to that shed over there. Wait, all my batteries have gone. Power cable goes to the shed. How do you get into this shed? That is the question. I mean, there's a door there. At least it looks like a door. It's also a door. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Let there be light. The lights are on. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. You are welcome. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I have a feeling that's not going to happen. We could be happy here. How long was I stood out here? The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Oh, I will it now. Alice? Honey? Coffee. Fill in my pockets with thermoses. Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Hello. Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Typewriter. Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn it, Alice, you- Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe... So now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not- what? Alice? He's such an ass. I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. It was hard to care in a game when the main character is a massive twat. Even if there is, like, a redemption. Alice? Alice! Alice, no! No! Alice! The cabin had gone dark. All the lights were out. Alice! Alice! Where are you? Help! Alice! I'm coming! It's all right! I'm coming! Ooh, what the hell? I wish there was some sort of indication like your stamina. Alice? Alice? Oh. 
Oh no! <gasps> well, shit. Keep going, Alice. Way to go, Alice. Been haunted by the old lady, hasn't he? Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and eh? entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. <laughs> The station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Excellent. Let's... Oh, no, no. Oh, hello. Maybe I do have to jump down there. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't have to jump down there. Among Alice's things was a book. The Creator's Dilemma by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the yes, book we brought get back it. my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a few ah, unskippable cutscenes. It like a long hike through the forest to get there. Alright, well, if you don't go that way. Sounds like a write-off. Carry on down here. Don't have my trusty flashlight. Hello? Ah, God. Hello, God. Hello? Is someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Well, that doesn't sound great, does it? Well, I, I have a feeling that's pretty much the whole game being attacked by axe wielding psychopaths in the forest anybody there there we go please i've been in an accident he doesn't seem that bothered really you'd think he'd be freaking out like if that was me and i'd just woken up being seen by wife Brown. The up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. And then work, uh, work? woke up in a uh, crashed car. I don't think I'd have got out of it. It's always uh, nice when you get hey. into these tight corridors. Hey, you! Phil! There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, Deposit. I need to. Premium cabins for rent in. Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Please. To beat you. Non refundable reservation deposit required. Fair 
and squat. Ah. Ah. And square. It's the stucky. Get the coffee. Premium. F five. Wake fights are taken with the light. The stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows. Thank you. Let's carry on with the actual gameplay. Oh my fuck! Oh. oh. I thought I died. Oh, uh, that, that. Great. Uh, can I walk around it? Great balls! You to arrive! You lose! Shit. It's the latest thing. I don't have two, my torch. Two birds. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe, like Nicholson in The Shining. He was. Got about the brand placement of all these batteries. Energizer. During your trying walking, it's the latest thing. Incontestably proven health let you Yes. One stone. Right fall, Sheriff Station. And keep Hello? Those Hello? Ah, uh, well, that's a bit of a piss take, isn't it? Why wouldn't it let me out of that door? Come on. on I hit the helmet with a concussion. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, I literally shot earlier. Real enough to make me sick. What are these arrows going to? Is it more coffee? Eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. I'll take it. How long have we got left? Let's have a look. 20 minutes. See how far we can get. Oh! That wasn't very nice, was it? I kicked the electricity the to stop the electricity go, over but here. I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. It's I didn't mean to fire that. What a waste. It looked pretty sick though, but I didn't realize I had that equipped. What the hell?
something over here. Can't believe I wasted that flare, man. Something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. You know, find a way across. There's a tree. Handily right there. It's not... It's not hard to find. Batteries. way. Batteries. At least I can go a bit uh, over the top with the focusing the beam on them, I suppose. Just waiting for something to jump out at me. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. So you want in the emergency box? More batteries. Ammo. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Somewhere. Flashing green over there, so that'll be it, I suppose. Anything here? like sucker punchy. Well. This would have been a great time to use the flare gun. Ooh. With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. 
Nice. Let's unequip that so I don't waste the bullets. Oh, the shotgun. Uh, let's turn the generator on. Explain what the ladder's for. Bit of over there. What will I do? Just missing it. Six shells. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night! I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment, step outside for a spell, and breathe in the weather's absolutely still. Sky is crystal clear. Like... Right, let's unequip that this time, as if it just automatically equips when you pick it up. Right, back on the good old revolver. Makes an old man like me. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best dogs in the state. Belly Burster is the best with no cuts. That's the dog. Come on, Ducky. The famous dog is. God. Reload you twelve. Right. Well, we're gonna be waiting for them this time, aren't I? Last time I'm gonna go over here, da da da, get the coffee flask, turn round. Ow, get hit in the head with an axe. I'm trying to get, I wanna get a good amount of them in one blast. LOL! He fell off. Shotgun's a bit rubbish. I thought it'd be a bit of a wider blast on that shotgun, but...
Where is the safe haven? Oh, is that just that light up there? How long have we got left? Nine minutes, 49. Will we kill Stucky? Who knows? I like these little hidden things. Cool. Alright, with nine minutes to go. Hopefully we'll be able to use a gun. I love Tuck salad though! A man like me needs a Epstein! No! That's for the day! Uh oh. We enjoy the magnificent. Well, that was rubbish. Batteries. The maximum amount of batteries, though. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. I am. This is among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. Danger hard hat hair area. I haven't got a hard hat. This looks like a bit of a boss area, doesn't it? Oh no! Even with the engine takes Try and get some of these together. Oh my god, he moves quick. That's as fuck boy. I shouldn't have used the flare on those idiots. That's as fuck! On. Ooh. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reached the lights of the gas station alive. Well, five minutes to go. I'm glad we killed Stucky. It feels like a nice little Chapter, isn't it? Let's complete story. Can we get to the gas station? I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. I talk like this and really enunciate my words because I am a knobhead.
After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. Page. Uh. Okay. Hey. Dangerous. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. All right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin. Outside the story, there's only That's darkness. me. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. Incontestably proven health benefits to Nordic walking. Great ball, Sheriff Station. You know, I'm gonna pick it up and put it to his ear. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are. I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please. I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. I've just been stumbling okay? through the woods, just discharging Listen, uh, a we'll revolver. This out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. So he's a liar as well. Dun dun dun. There ain't no lake there. No, wait. There is a lake there. There ain't no island in that lake. That's scary. Alright, well. That, that's that. That's quit. I mean, I enjoyed it. It's very dated and of its time. Um, but yeah, first, first game down. Uh, I think next on the list is Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Um, which I think I will play uh, for an hour. But yeah, if you enjoyed this first episode, um, you know, it's a work in progress, the format, how I'm, you know, I'm not used to doing the full one hour unedited things. My main channel is uh, game dev tutorials, which are highly cut down. But yeah, if you liked this video, let me know in the comments below. Uh, check out my other channel if you're interested in learning how to make games yourself, which again, will be linked below. But in the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!